Hello, my name is Wispianko. In this video I will talk about the rather unknown uh, history of the, the white-coated coffin magazine for the Suomi M31 in a service in the Swiss military and police. So back in the 50s we had a criminal duo named Ernst Deubelbeis and Kurt Schürmann. Uh, they found together in uh, 51 and uh, did start to do a crime basically like in the Chicago style using uh, submachine guns and all that. So the first thing what they uh, did is uh, they did try to rope and burglar uh, armory in uh, Zurich. They stole uh, 15 submachine guns and 9,685 rounds of ammunition and they did uh, bury those in different places in the woods. Uh, some of these guns got altered by Ernst Deubelbeis who did work during the war uh, in Geneva uh, by some companies that did uh, uh, firearms manufacturing. So he basically did uh, shorten the barrel, remove the sights, uh, remove the wood stock and uh, manufactured a, a metal uh, pistol grip so that the item could be uh, carried concealed under a long sleeve uh, jacket that uh, was common back then because those uh, criminals wanted to do some uh, crime, serious crime. Uh, they robbed uh, quite so many people. They tried to uh, to uh, kidnap uh, people and all that. Uh, the complete uh, details are online. But uh, what Doublebeis also came up with is the white coated magazine. So they had a problem, say in the night or or. Uh, in a bad light uh, conditions that the Suomi 50 round coffin magazine looks a bit uh, pretty much uh, the same all around uh, so it's it's a bit uneasy to see uh, in a hurry if you are in a firefight uh, with the Swiss uh, police back then uh, which side goes in uh, of course on top with the ammunition you see it so uh, he had the idea to coat one side of the magazine in a white color. Uh, I guess they had back then uh, not that many uh, different colors uh, available so uh, what he got was white and this of course is a recreation of that magazine because uh, not many originals did survive. So the idea is that basically the magazine goes in like this into the weapon and as you hold the weapon you see the white color. So you see exactly that you put the magazine in in the correct orientation so that is that it is uh, working and locking and all that and uh, that it is correct into place otherwise again you had the problems uh, maybe you mix it up which which side goes in uh, we have to see those uh, criminals, of course, uh, did not have uh, that much of a, of a military training uh, back then, uh, combat shooting and all that. That was not uh, like it is uh, our days, tactical shooting and all that. So that was a, a really simple solution that he came up with. Of course, those uh, criminals got uh, caught relatively uh, fast. Uh, the, the people, the population in Switzerland was absolute scared back then about the uh, Doublebeis and Schürmann. Uh, those uh, criminals uh, did wreck quite a couple of uh, people and businesses over there and then finally they got uh, caught and of course uh, they got life in prison. The police and the people that uh, to the forensics back then uh, did, did uh, look how he did misuse those firearms and there they saw that the white collar actually would make uh, pretty good sense. Uh, we also have to say that this all did happen mainly in uh, Zurich and the, the canton of Zurich, so in the surrounding of Zurich uh, city. 
and the police there actually did uh, quietly paint their magazines in the same manner so uh, that solution got adopted minimum by the police in uh, Zurich uh, maybe other other uh, police uh, units uh, over Switzerland too that again was in the early 50s and uh, that is so long time ago uh, that that not many people uh, know much uh, details about it unfortunately and uh, but uh, Minimum Zurich, we know they had such uh, painted magazines because they had the same uh, problem like the criminals. Uh, the police did not have a good uh, training on use the firearm and uh, the painting for sure did help them uh, recognize uh, firsthand, at least during uh, the day with a little bit of light uh, that they have, have it in the, in the correct uh, orientation. So that is the story about that unique uh, combination. Uh, in USA that is not much uh, known about and in uh, Switzerland it's pretty much uh, gone too. Uh, I just can remember as I grew up uh, back then uh, the, the Doublebeis, a uh, rather unique uh, name uh, was was uh, still in use for uh, say parents or people that uh, told their uh, children off uh, to basically say if if you don't behave the double by is gonna come and get you you know and of course the the stupid uh, children uh, back then did uh, believe it you know even as a uh, double base and and his uh, friend uh, Schurman were were uh, locked up for life they they did uh, of course uh, pass away by now both of them and uh, they could never do any any harm and any any crime uh, anymore uh, more information about uh, those people those criminals are online uh, last point is uh, that by uh, the judge as they faced the judge after uh, they got arrested uh, court uh, Schurman did try to say that they needed all those uh, submachine guns and stolen ammunition and all that plus the the money from the bank robberies that they did in the in the like in a Chicago style uh, to finance a revolution a communist revolution in uh, Switzerland and all that uh, how deep that did go uh, I can't say the communist party in Switzerland was never uh, too popular Thank God, and uh, communism is not too well for the general population anyway. So that is the story about Doublebeis, his uh, white magazine that got adopted minimum by the police in Zurich and the surrounding 